What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. This week we're going to check out an extension that gives you quick control over the visibility of different layers within SketchUp. Before I get started, um, I want to thank my newest supporter on Patreon, Brian Hampton. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So in addition, one of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Interauth Swift Layer Visibility Control. Plugin developer, Interauth 3. Plugin cost, $10. Where can you get it? You can download it from the SketchUp extension warehouse. Tool functions. This is a tool from Christina Interauth designed to help you quickly hide and unhide layers without having to search for them in your layers list. Depending on how long your layers list is, this can be a very helpful tool, especially when you start getting 20, 30, 40 different layers inside your models. So the way this extension works is simple. When working in your model and you want to hide a layer, simply select an object on that layer and then come over and click the button for hide selected layers. This will turn off the layer that these objects are on without you having to go search for them within the layers toolbar. This works both for individual and for multiple different layers depending on how many you have selected. If you want to turn all of your layers back on, the second button, show active layers, will turn on your different layers. Note that this is affected by what groups you're inside as well. So for example, if I'm inside this group, this will only affect layers of objects inside the group. You can see how as I click the show active layers button my second level doesn't turn on, but if I click outside of this then my second level will turn on. The third option, rehide last shown except for selected layers, is almost like an advanced layer undo function. It basically remembers the objects that you turned off last. So if you select multiple layers and you accidentally turn something off, like the walls, this button will basically remember which ones you turned off. So when you turn them back on with show active layers, you can just come in and you can select one layer, like the walls, and then click the button for rehide last shown. So what that'll do is that'll rehide all of the objects that you had in here selected, except for the one that you now have currently selected. Basically, the reason for this is so you don't have to go back in and reselect all of those layers to repeat a selection. So basically everything in here is designed to reduce the number of clicks you have to do within your model. You can also assign these tools to keyboard shortcuts by going to Window, Preferences, Shortcuts, and then scrolling down under Extensions and selecting one of the functions for the Interauth Swift Layer Visibility Control. So for example, you could apply hide selected layers to one button, the rehide button to another, and the show active layers to a third. Once you do this, hiding and unhiding different layers becomes really easy inside your model. Overall, this seems to be a very workflow specific tool. So for some people, it's gonna be absolutely amazing, while for others, they're not really gonna see the need for it. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought about this extension. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. If you liked this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.